Okay, as you can see, that's me. And we're gonna do a little walkthrough from my COS to through to coffee time. So you can see the balcony there, really safe, no railings. Same with the stairs, no railings. Um, luckily I didn't plunge to my death. And down to the bathroom or Kamara Mundi. And yes, there's the squat toilet, lovely. Actually, I did get used to that fairly quickly. And another Monday, number two, and see that tub there with that little scooper? That's how you have a shower or bath. So you stand there and scoop the water onto yourself and then wash the soap yourself up and then wash it all off. That's one of the Cosboy's friends, the very sweet Oki. Uh, now the rest of the clip's going to be in double speed, otherwise it's just way too long. So that's the house where the mother and father live. Those rooms on the left are more cost rooms. That's the Ibu and one of the sons from Tiga Saudara. She's the boss. Another son there. And this is Aris here. Um, sweet Aris. Lovely boy. Warung Tiga Saudara. So that's where I ate just about every single day. So even though it's double speed, I'm leaving the background sounds of the road in at double speed. So hopefully it's not too wonky. So as you'll see, a little short walk from the Kos to that little gate there that we're about to go through into the grounds of UMM Campus 3. Um, walking behind some random bunch of boys. That little office there is the security guard's office. Uh, unfortunately in the morning it just has that girl. And then usually there in the distance is a really nice view of the mountains, but this day was really hazy. That's the engineering building. That's one of the canteens. Can't really see it very good, it's a bit dark. Um, I didn't eat there very much because uh, Tiga Sadara was much nicer. So down this little short hill to the left, uh, which we're not where we're going, but anyway, motorbike parking, building number two. To the left, that road there goes off to the sports field, soccer field, and whatever. Um, unfortunately, it's very jerky due to my walking. So you'll see here, building number two. And then in front to the right, Here's a Wi-Fi hotspot area and the psychology building and the top floor, the language, the English language labs, uh, which I didn't teach in. And then coming up straight ahead, um, just under there, heaps of where students sat using the Wi-Fi. This is the little UMM lake and the little geese. That building now in front is the building where I taught on the third floor, down the end behind those trees. Uh, quite nice that lake to sit there. There's another Wi-Fi area just here and photocopy little shop. And this is under the rectorate building, so where the rector of the university's offices were. And the top floor was the international office where we had our classes in semester one. The river. Uh, this is when it hasn't rained for a couple of days, so you can see it's pretty low and pretty gentle. That's all UMM over there, nice gardens, where the agriculture students do some stuff. Uh, that's a little security hut there. That top floor is where we had our classes and where the international offices are. Some nice students. And there is Wasip. Yes, hello. I'm being very shy because I'm videoing him. Of course, this was the day when he did not wear his usual really tight security guard uniform, unfortunately. But um, anyway, very hunky was it. And basically I'm walking the way that I used to always walk when recording a podcast. This is a bit of a shortcut way behind these buildings. Um, this is all like engineering and stuff in here. Um, and you can't really see inside, but they've, you know, they've built all sorts of weird mechanical contraptions and things. 
This is Faster, who used to be one of the office boys in the international department, and now working somewhere else at UMM. Um, our little chipmunk speaking. We didn't really say anything important, so... Uh, walking up these little stairs where I used to walk up every single day of my life. And uh, I used to have to, if you remember, walk through the campus to get to the front of campus where the Uncots, the minibuses were. So just to the right there is the some admin and finance buildings that you now can't see. And then straight ahead is the big, yes, that is a helipad. Yes. No helicopters ever spotted landing at UMM. Uh, yes, we used to laugh about that. Um, May, the Korean student, and I would laugh at why on earth UMM had a helipad. Straight ahead in the distance, you can see the massive mosque. And that little hut in front is the main security guard's hut where I used to always walk past and they would yell out hello to me and whatever. So across that little bridge that I would talk about, usually when coming back, uh, UMM, the real university. And there's the basketball courts and volleyball courts. The river again is at and it winds through UMM, and there in the distance you can see UMM Dome, which is used for concerts and also any sort of really big function. The mosque again, and some car parking. You notice, I, I reckon probably three quarters of the girl students would wear the um, hijab, the headscarf. Uh, there's no official policy at UMM, but Definitely students did do it, I think, to be, you know, good Muslims, inverted commas, because sometimes I would see my students outside of campus not wearing it. Up these little stairs to the main road that you used to always hear the screaming, buzzing cars going by and motorbikes. Straight in front, that's Ria Janaka, a new little cafe. There is Otoy, where I had many, too many meals. And on the left there are another couple of little warungs that I would eat at when I got sick of eating at Otoy. That Ria Janaka was quite new, only been open a month or two. There's the mosque again, UMM's mosque. Um, quite massive. Um, it's a pity I didn't walk a bit smoother, isn't it? So here's the main road, which now I'm crossing. You just have to kind of cross and keep walking and they will drive around you. Up that street to the left is where my good friend Maria used to live from America. Little motorbike selling fresh fruit, another little stall selling fried bready things there. Um, and then some little businesses here, welding shop and whatever. And the newish, newish Sea Best Chicken that I'm coming up to. You can see UMM Dome on the right again, just briefly. Um, so sea best chicken, you know, pretty average food, but kind of cheap fast food. There is Yopi. That's when Yopi and I had some uh, sea best chicken. So sweet. Back on the road and you'll see, you'll notice there's no footpaths. So you literally have to walk on the road and have those cars and motorbikes zooming past you. That's UMM Dome. And there's coffee time. Notice the word coffee time is quite small under the massive cigarette ad above it. Coffee time. So this is where all the magic happened, where I would upload and download podcasts and drink coffee. You can hopefully see, even though it's quick, that it's quite nice inside. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.